What's up guys, Yusuf Shah from TechDroids and yes, I get it, I know I'm late on this one. But finally, in today's video, we're going to be doing the unboxing and full review of the new Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus in the cobalt grey colour. Now, this is going to retail for 73999 in India, which is a heavy price compared to, you know, last year's S10 Plus. So the best way to talk about the S20 Plus is what's changed, what's new and how better is it compared to the previous phone, which was the S10 Plus, which was actually a really nice phone and, you know, ticked most of the boxes and we did a video on it. So if you want to check out the S10 Plus video, I'll leave a link, you know, down below. But in today's video, Let's find out if the Galaxy S20 Plus is worth it. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, so taking a look at the packaging itself, this time around it's really clean and minimal. No printing, no specifications at all, even on the back of the box. So lift that lid up, first things first, the two compartments. First one has your SIM ejector tool and your reading material, as well as a free silicone case. I guess companies need to upgrade this. For $1,200, give us a better case. Then you have your boring reading material, your regional log guide, your warranty information, quick start guide and stuff like that. Read it if you want to. Next, you have the S20 Plus itself. Take the plastic off, put on that case, boot it up. It's beautiful as always. I really like this cobalt gray color. For the accessories, you have the 25 watt super fast charger, but it's not super fast as Samsung calls it. Samsung is kind of lagging behind in their fast charging game. I guess they need to upgrade it. Next up, you have the USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Again, this is only used for charging, so if you want to sync data or something like that, you will have to get a USB Type-C to Type-A cable or your you know, PC or laptop has to have Type-C natively. And then you have this custom tuned AKG earphones with extra ear tips, and these sound really good out of the box like for default headphones these are the holy grail in my opinion and that's about it for the unboxing now let's talk about the review itself so let's start off with the most evident change the biggest upgrade in my opinion and that's the display it's a 6.7 inch display on the s20 plus a 6.9 inch display on the s20 ultra which is the bigger phone and there's 120 hertz across the board on all s20s which is a big upgrade in my opinion and samsung was kind of holding back with the higher refresh rate thing but they want to get on it, they're gonna get on it real good. So 120 hertz, in my opinion, is really smooth, pottery smooth for people who like to, you know, watch high refresh rate videos or just do gaming and, you know, even the normal UI, the responsiveness of the phone itself, just flicking through apps and scrolling and stuff feels really smooth. Also, there's a 240 hertz touch response. So the time it takes, from you touching the screen to something happening is gonna be really you know fast as well. So let's say you scroll, the scroll is gonna feel like fast as well as smoother at the same time. So 240 hertz touch response in my opinion also seems really nice. Also talking about resolution and the panel itself, it is a Quad HD plus panel and it is a Super AMOLED panel from Samsung. So we expect the great quality, the high brightness, the good contrast, you know, the deep blacks. HDR is there, so let's say watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or something, it's gonna be a good experience playing games. Just consuming content using the display is a really nice experience in my opinion. There's a center hole punch and you know comparing it to the previous S10 plus design I think this one is nice it's more symmetrical it's you know centered less annoying and it's a flat screen this time around like it is curved it's like a 2.5D curve in my opinion it's not the you know extreme curve that Samsung usually has and in my opinion this is a fresh design change something to give the phone a new look but other than that the display itself is really nice there's a small catch though if you want to use the phone at 120 hertz you have to put it down to 1080p 1440p the full resolution is we're only going to be at 60 hertz and we can understand that's going to be for performance reasons battery reasons and in my opinion it's not a huge deal breaker like you should be fine also under that display is ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which is not the fastest thing in the world or not the most accurate thing in the world you have to get used to the position i think it should be bigger i think it should be more fast like the upgrade from the s10 plus doesn't seem you know very evident it is not a better sensor in my opinion it's not bigger either it's the same thing so you really have to just know where the sensor is but nine times out of ten it'll work and in my opinion it was pretty good again as i said it's not the fastest so you do take a second to unlock but it is an ultrasonic scanner so you can use it for payments and stuff and it is more secure you know compared to optical scanner so that's that now the design of the phone in my opinion is the least interesting part about the galaxy s20 plus or the whole s20 series in general none of the phones look that great and it's the same old design made more uglier in my opinion like there's this round rectangular you know cut out for the cameras which is fine you know it's still subtle on the s20 s20 plus but on the ultra i don't know man the camera hump is just too huge and i personally don't like it but other than that it's the usual you know metal and glass sandwich it's available in a bunch of colors this one that you're looking at in this video is the cobalt gray color and in my opinion you should you know get something that you like there's going to be a bunch of options available so check out try them out and see which suits your personality but that's pretty much it for the design 
design. All right, now let's talk about specifications and the hardware on the S20 Plus. And this is where the whole S20 series in general shines. The S20 Plus has the Snapdragon 865, which is an amazing CPU in my opinion, comes with a lot of good capabilities. 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 to 512 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion, 4,500 mAh big battery with wireless charging, wireless fast charging, and also 25 watt fast charging. So that's pretty much, you know, top notch specifications in my opinion for 2020. Apart from the, you know, fast charging standard, they can upgrade a bit, but Samsung's experience with batteries hasn't been that great in the past. So, hey, we can kind of understand what happened with the Note 7. They don't want to repeat it again, but performance overall is great. While, you know, gaming or just doing anything on this phone, multitasking, flicking through apps, day-to-day -day usage, using you know, social media stuff, RAM management, as I said, again, is really nice in my opinion. If you can have a bunch of apps open and that, as there is a lot of RAM, you can just lock apps you know in RAM and then open maybe after a few hours and you'll still be there so that's really nice so you also you know with the big numbers you can actually make use you know with some software features so that's that and talking about software there's Android 10 and on top is going to be Samsung's One UI 2.1 which is not the perfect software which is not the best software in the world but they're getting there they're refining it version by version with every software update I see some improvements there's some you know really nifty little handy software features that you can make use of there's some bloatware there's some features that you'll never use but they're still there that's one UI for you guys. So if you like it, you use it. Otherwise, you can just slap a launcher on. Maybe use Nova Launcher or Pixel Launcher and you can customize the look of the whole phone. And come on, it is Android, so it's kind of flexible. All right, I know you guys have been waiting for this one. So let's get to the cameras. There's a quad camera setup technically on the S20 Plus. There's a depth camera and there's three functional cameras with you know variable focal lens. The main sensor is a 12 megapixel f1.8. There's a 64 megapixel telephoto with again 3x optical zoom and that's at f2. And there's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide f2.2 aperture. And yes, all three cameras are really nice in you know good lighting conditions. They can give you a really nice shot. Now the zoom features are never been my thing. I've never been a zoom user. I never use my phone to zoom into things and click pictures. I just use a DSLR and I've never felt the need to zoom into anything. Thing that far away 100x zoom 30x zoom come on man who even uses that and what can you use it for I know there's gonna be a few people you know a niche group of people who like to you know take pictures of other objects maybe astrophotography or just you know landscapes or you want to stand in a place and you know look around that may be useful but I don't think you're gonna get like usable you know good quality shots if you're gonna zoom that much so again I really like the other features the super steady video there's 8k video at 24 fps it is a catch it is kind of twisted it's not like full raw 8k that you're shooting on a phone there's some limitations to it there's super slow motion video and the usual stuff the pro mode the live focus the augmented reality stuff the AR emojis Bixby vision all the software features are there and in my opinion the camera does take really good pictures dynamic range is good and sharpness is good and if you give it good light even under low lighting conditions you can get a good shot and yes there is a good upgrade to the camera but i feel like the s20 ultra has a better pair of cameras and the pictures that come out of that phone are you know a notch above what comes out from the s20 and the s20 plus so cameras in my opinion are really good on the s20 and the s20 plus also there's a 10 megapixel selfie shooter and that does its job good lighting conditions you're going to get detailed selfies basic software features are there live focus ar emojis and stuff like that i'm not a big selfie user so yeah you'll get some good shots that you can share with your friends or on social media instagram facebook and stuff like that so yeah selfie camera is good and here are some camera samples All right, with the cameras out of the way, let's talk about some of the extra features that you get. So let's say you use a you know, Galaxy Watch or Galaxy Buds. There's reverse wireless charging on the Galaxy S20 Plus, just like the S10 Plus, which is a handy feature in my opinion. With the big battery, you can charge up something like this watch or Buds. Not completely, but you will get enough charge to use it for a while. So that's a good feature. There's IP6 head water resistance. So yeah, let's say you want to take a dunk in the swimming pool. You can do that as well. And the whole, and the whole ecosystem, you know, Samsung is trying to build around the whole Galaxy series of phones is kind of interesting in my opinion so that's pretty much it the price tag is going to be 73,999 rupees in india for the s20 plus the s20 the small one is slightly cheaper the s20 ultra in my opinion is 
quite overpriced, but again, it's a really nice phone and it does give you some big numbers for the price you pay. S20 Plus, in my opinion, is a thumbs up. I definitely recommend it. If you have the money, if you are a Samsung you know, guy, if you want to get the brand value, if you want to get a Galaxy phone and you want the best display, you want the good performance, the camera, a overall complete package that ticks all the boxes, the S20 Plus is a good you know, choice in my opinion. But if you want to save money, there's other options out there. I'll leave links down below. My videos, my reviews, and also purchasing links are also there. So let's say if you want to help the channel out and want to buy a Galaxy S20 or basically anything, just go click the Amazon link down below and it'll help the channel out and turn help me make more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the video and are you going to get a Galaxy phone? What phone are you using right now? And anything, all of your thoughts should be in the comments down below. I'll be replying to you guys and thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.